What is ODUK SNCP protection? Literally, it has two parts: ODUK and SNCP, which refers to the SNCP protection of ODUK services. What are ODUK services? ODUK services come in different particle sizes with different service fees that correspond to those sizes. For example, if ODU is taking a stroll, then ODU one is sprinting. ODU two is like riding a bike, and ODU three is a nice and leisurely drive, which is still much faster than a bicycle. ODU flex it enables you to pick the perfect mode of transportation for your specific trip. If your destination is nearby, then walk. If it's a bit further, then ride a bike, and if it's further still, then jump in a car and get going. What is SNCP? Simply put, it means dual sending and selective receiving. How is ODUK SNCP deployed? Let's listen to a story. A long time ago, the kingdom of OTN was filled with cities and towns like NEA, NEB, NEC, and more. When inhabitants of these towns wanted to communicate, they sent ODUK letters to each other. But in those days, disasters were common, and their letters often encountered difficulties during transmission, causing communication obstacles. The situation grew so seriously that even the king became concerned. He convened his cabinet to discuss action, and soon, with the leadership of the brilliant ODUK SNCP, letter technology was improved at the sending, transfer, and receiving nodes. The problem was solved, and the king was very happy. How did they do it? In three strokes, using tools, anchoring flow, and root splitting. Using tools means transferring mail using PM, TCM, and SM envelopes that can immediately detect OPUK, ODUK, and OTUK problems. Anchoring flow means adopting dual sending and selective receiving for the transmission of letters. Dual sending means that each letter is passed to two separate post offices and delivery routes: a primary route and a backup route. After the letters are received at their destination, one copy is selected. Normally, the letter from the primary route. However, if the letter from the primary route has a problem, then the backup letter is conveniently chosen. Route splitting means transmission scenarios are divided into SNCI, SNCN, and SNCS, each of which indicates a different site for the letter to pass through and be processed. Sending note during receiving. For non-OTUK letters, the post box places them successively in PM and TCM envelopes, making them into ODUK letters. Then brings them to the post office for packaging in SM envelopes, which makes them OTUK letters. The receiving note does this procedure in reverse when receiving letters. For OTUK letters. The post box first removes the SM envelopes that is received from the original path, making them ODUK letters. Then it submits them to the post office, where they are put in a new SM envelope and packed into transportable ODUK letters. During transmission. SNCI letters do not require processing at a village or town along the way, and are transported directly to their destination. During transport, SM envelopes stay alert for any problem with a letter or route, and notify the two sweethearts immediately to use the backup copy if any errors are found. SNCN letters, because of rough terrain along the road, need to be retransmitted along their delivery routes. During delivery, TCM and PM envelopes watch for problems and initiate a backup plan if any are found. However, TCM and PM envelopes can function together, and one must be chosen in advance. PM envelopes provide end-to-end -end error testing, while TCM envelopes provide segment-based testing. 
SNCS packs letters destined for different destinations in one starting location. Some of these letters will arrive at their destination mid-route, while others will continue onward. During delivery, the TCM envelopes watch for problems and initiate the backup plan if any are found. Ta-da! Welcome back to Earth. Are you an ODUK SNCP protection expert? Do you have the ODUK SNCP protection application scenarios down cold? Let's assume you understand SNCI, SNCN, and SNCS. How about using SM, TCM, and PM? Congratulations, you've got it.